Hello, everyone, and welcome to History 165, the history of the Middle East. And I just want to introduce myself and a little bit of, about this course to everyone. And I guess the first thing is to make sure you all know who I am. My name is David Halachmi, and I've been teaching history at Cypress College since the year 2000. I've been doing this for a long time. Uh, and I'll tell you this, I'll tell this story, I always tell this story to all my students the first day of class, and that was when I was 18 years old, I was doing what all of you guys are doing right now, taking a history class at a community college. <clears throat> Mine was, of course, in person back then, and I absolutely loved it, and I told my history professor, I really love this stuff, I want to teach history at a community college, and so that's what I've been doing since I was 24 years old, I haven't worked a day in my life, I love the teaching, I, you know, I enjoy in kind of this format of online, of course, but I always love being in a classroom with the students and getting to know students uh, and the rapport I develop with students. And so I really want to encourage you, even in this online environment, if you have questions or needs, to come and talk to me and see me and seek help in you know, any way we can via technology, Zoom, emails, whatever it is. Um, and, you know, this course, History of the Middle East, is an important one, and it's, it's not a course that many community colleges even offer, so I'm very proud that I've been teaching this class for many, many years now, very successfully with a lot of students, and it's a course that covers the entire history of the Middle East. For students who don't know much about it, by the time you're done with this semester, you're going to know more about the Middle East than most people you'll meet. We start from the very beginnings, from the dawn of civilization in, in a place called Mesopotamia. And we go through the history of the ancient Hebrews in tremendous detail, not talking about their culture and their history and the Jewish people. Um, also, of course, we'll get into the rise of Islam and explain the, the, the rise of the Islamic faith. This image you're seeing here is actually from Jerusalem. Uh, it's the Wailing Wall. Uh, which is, of course, the most holiest site of Judaism. And, of course, we'll also talk about a lot of the, the key religious sites in the Islamic faith. But we don't just do religion in this class. We talk a lot of, about a lot of political leaders and rulers and governments and the, the Umayyads and the Abbasids, for example. Uh, we talk about other groups of people like the Seljuks. And we even touch a little bit on the Mongols and the Mughals, so some civilizations a little bit further east, but still kind of have an impact on the Middle East. We spent a lot of time on the Ottoman Empire. The Ottomans are great, you know, it's a crazy little civilization with a lot of, of very important sultans, as they were called. And then we get to kind of the fall of the Ottoman Empire. And I think the part of the course students, I like the whole thing, but sometimes students tell me, oh, I really enjoy the second of the half of the class even more, because that's when we get into kind of what happens after the Ottoman Empire falls and the end of World War I? And we talk about kind of the, the development of modern countries like modern day Turkey, modern day Iraq, modern day Iran. You know, where, where does a country, you know, when you talk about Iraq, how does Saddam Hussein come to power? That name you all know. Uh, Iran, you know, Iran is a fascinating civilization that, you know, back in the uh, a couple of generations ago, three, two, three generations ago, was a very good ally of the United States. And how did Iran go from, you know, still today having a lot of people that, that really like the ideas of the United States, like the ideas of the West, but have leaders that literally call for the destruction of every Jewish person on the face of the earth, right? How does that happen? And we'll tell that story. It's a really interesting one. Uh, we'll spend some time talking about the, the, the recreation of the state of Israel, the modern state of Israel, the Arab-Israeli wars, the issues of, of the, both the Israelis and the Palestinians, and uh, the conflicts that have emerged between them, and the peace treaties that have also been created between Israel and its Arab neighbors. And we'll even get all the way through, you know, modern day Afghanistan and the road to 9-11, which I know when I started to teach this class, uh, most of my students were familiar with 9-11. Now I teach this class and some of you weren't even born when it happened. So uh, there's a lot of important information there. So I think you'll find the course interesting. Um, I'm looking forward to it. If you ever have questions, you need any help, please come talk to me. Um, I'm here to help you guys and I want you to succeed and thrive and do very well in this course. All right. So that's my kind of little welcome message to you. Uh, all right. Good luck this semester. Thank you.